Hello there, and thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be looking at um, Lesson 8.1, Circles and Circumference. It's basically just how to find a circumference of a circle. Um, today we're going to be looking at eight things to write down, so let's go ahead and get started. Just keep in mind, too, you can use calculators on this unit, so make sure you have your calculator ready. First thing we want to know and write down is what does it look like for diameter and what does it look for, like for radius? So th these two both are examples of circles. And each of the circles have either a line going all the way through it or a line going halfway through it. The diameter represents the full circle and radius just represents half of the circle. So make sure you go ahead and just copy. You can actually just draw these two circles um, and that will give you a nice picture of what both diameter and radius look like. So let's go ahead and pause the video now. And once you're done copying these circles and labeling them, let's go ahead and click play so you can move on. First thing we're going to just talk about is how to find radius if you're given diameter and vice versa. So this one is given diameter. If diameter is 20 feet, radius will just be half of that. So radius is 10 feet. Over here, the radius is 7 meters. So that means diameter will be double it, which will be 14 meters. Pretty easy stuff. You're going to go ahead and take the time now to pause the video and try both of these. You're going to find radius when given diameter or diameter when given radius. Go ahead and pause and try. All right, so number two says diameter is 16, so radius is equal to 8 centimeters. For number three, the radius is 9, so that means diameter will be 18 yards. All you had to do is double it if it was radius to get diameter, or half it if it was diameter to get radius. The next thing we're going to talk about is how to find the circumference of a circle. Basically, the circumference of a circle just means perimeter. And you are essentially just following along what this formula is. You're going to write down these formulas. This formula says you can find circumference by either doing pi times diameter or you can do 2 times pi times radius. And just keep in mind, we're going to use pi as 3.14. So basically, you're just multiplying 3.14 times the diameter or 2 times 3.14 times the radius. Go ahead and pause the video right now so you can copy what's given to you on the slide right here. And once you're done, click play so we can move on. So this first one I'm going to show you how to do. I'm actually going to show you to do two examples, then you're going to try some on your own. Find the circumference of the flying disc. Use 3.14 for pi. This has given us um, the radius. So I'm going to use the formula c is equal to 2 times pi times radius. You will be given the formula on your test. So just make sure you keep that in mind. Um, all you have to really know how to do is um, apply it. So what we're going to see here is we're just going to be plugging in some numbers. So 2 times 3.14 times 5. And when you plug that on, on your calculator, you're going to get 31.4. And we're going to keep the units as inches. Okay, so it's very, very easy. You just have to make sure, is this line the radius or is that line the diameter? And know which, which formula you should use. This one gives us the diameter because this line is going all the way across the circle. So I'm going to be using the formula that was, has the letter D in it for diameter. And that one you wrote down was C is equal to pi times diameter, which means all I'm really doing is 3.14 times 28. In your calculator, once you work that out, you're going to get 87.92. And we're going to keep that unit as millimeters. Okay. Very, very simple, very, very easy. So this is the two that you're going to try on your own. So let's go ahead and try numbers five and six. Once you're done, click play. So let's go ahead and pause it to try on your own. Click play to check your work. So it looks like number five is giving us the radius. So I'm going to use the two times pi times radius for our problem. Um, so I'm going to go and plug those in. Two times 3.14 times the radius, which is also 2. And when I multiply all those together, you should get 12.56 centimeters. For number 6, that one's a little different because it's now given us the diameter. So I'm going to be using C is equal to pi times diameter. So I'm going to try 3.14 times 14, and I'll get 43.96 feet. How did you do on 5 and 6? The next thing we're going to talk about is how to find the circumference of a semicircle or the perimeter of a semicircle. 
A semicircle, remember, is half of a circle. So you're basically going to use um, the same kind of concept, except you're going to be having divide by 2. This one has given us the diameter. So I'm going to use c is equal to pi times diameter. That means I'm going to do 3.14 times 6, and I'm going to get 18.84. Okay, since this is a semicircle, though, I need to divide the circumference by 2, and that gives me 9.42. Now, when we divided it by 2, here's our circle. When we divide it by 2, we've just found half of the circle. What we need to find, what we need to also factor in is the straight side of this circle. So, something we're going to have to think about is adding back the diameter. And the diameter is 6. So, I would have to add back 6 to that once I divide it by 2. And that will give me my final answer of 15.42 meters. Okay, so maybe write these steps down. Find circumference and then step two divide by two and then step three add diameter. I would go ahead and write these down so that's a little something extra in your notes you're going to have. So go ahead and pause those, write those three steps down. Once you're done, click place. We can move on and try some. All right, so these are the two that you're going to try. Remember your three steps, which are finding circumference, divide it by two, and then add your diameter. Um, so let's go ahead and make sure you pause the video and try these questions. Once you're done, click play to check your work. All right, so for number seven, we're going to do, we have given, we're given the radius. So I'm going to do two times pi times radius. So that's going to be 2 times 3.14 times 15, and that's going to give me 94.2. Then I'm going to divide that by 2, which will give me back to 47.1. As I've divided by 2, I still need to add in that diameter. Remember, diameter is all the way across, so if radius is 15, diameter you should have added 30, because 15 plus 15 is 30. So 47.1 plus 30 will give me my answer of 77.1. And that will be in inches. This next one over here, you're doing the same thing. You're still finding the um, perimeter of the semicircle. This one is given my diameter, so I'm going to do pi times diameter. So that will be 3.14 times 7, and that gives me 21.98. And then I'm going to take 21.98, my second step, and divide it by 2. And that will give me 10.99. But then I need to go back and do add that diameter. So 10.99 plus 7. 7 is my diameter, and I should get 17.99 centimeters. How do we do on number 8? The last thing I want to show you real quick is whenever you're given circumference and you're trying to find diameter, we know that the formula we're given, we can either use c is equal to pi times diameter or c is equal to 2 times pi times radius. In this case, we're trying to solve for diameter, so we're going to use this formula right here. What I'm going to basically do is just plug in what I know. Circumference is 75, so where c is, I'm going to write 75. I know that pi is equal to 3.14, but I'm not sure what diameter is. To solve for d, I'm going to have to divide by 3.14. So if you type in your calculator 75 divided by 3.14, you do get kind of a long decimal. It'll look like this, 23.8854. So that would be, you just have to kind of work backwards for those. You will have one of those questions on your test. So just make sure you're understanding how to plug stuff in and still how to divide those equations. All right? That's going to conclude our video on 8.1. Thanks so much for tuning in, and we'll catch you next time.